Present to you, Bishop Dr. W.F. Houston, Jr. Praise the Lord, beloved. Welcome to CHUF Bible Fellowship. I pray that your time with me will bring you love, joy, peace, wisdom, and knowledge. Our Bible verse for today will be Matthew 16, 24, and I'll be reading from the Message Bible. And it reads in this manner, Anyone who intends to come with me has to let me lead. You're not in the driver's seat. I am. Once again, it reads in this manner. Anyone who intends to come with me has to let me lead. You're not in the driver's seat. I am. Beloved, do you know how to let God lead your life? Do you know how to let go and let God be the head of your life. Well, if you don't, allow me to help you right now. First, you must decide to make Jesus the manager of your life. That's the very first thing you have to do. But you know, the problem for most people is they usually want to be the manager of their own life, and so they argue and disagree with God. They think that they know what's best. You know, one of the reasons many people are under a lot of stress today is that they're constantly fighting God in their mind. You see, there's many people that say, I know God says to do this, but I want to do that instead. Beloved, every morning when you wake up, you have decisions to make. Yes. Who's going to be in charge of your life? In other words, who's going to be in control, you or God? Who's going to call the shots, you or God? Beloved, every day, minute by minute, you're making that decision. When you choose to make yourself the manager of your own life, it causes internal conflict internal confusion and stress. Once again, Jesus says in Matthew 16, 24, anyone who intends to come with me has to let me lead. You're not in the driver's seat. I am. Now, here's what many Christians tend to do when they first get saved. 
You see, when they first get saved and become believers in Christ, they give Jesus the driver's seat and then they promptly hop into the back seat and become back seat drivers. Then they began repeatedly giving him advice, advice like saying, no, Jesus, turn this way. Stop here, Jesus. Wait, Jesus. Faster, faster, Jesus. I want to go that way. I want to go see what's going on over there, Jesus. You know, beloved, over the years, I've watched a few episodes of Dancing with the Stars. And before that star steps on the ballroom floor for competition, they have to train with a professional partner, a skilled dance partner. And the star has to let that professional skilled dance partner be the lead. If not, they're going to have some major issues. For instance, stepping on each other's feet. Beloved. One of the biggest problems couples have is letting the other lead. You see, when they're both trying to lead, they're stepping on each other's feet all the time. And that doesn't look very pretty. Beloved, your life doesn't look very pretty when you're trying to lead with God at the same time. As a matter of fact, it's ugly. So let go and let God drive. In other words, let God be God. Friends, today, make Jesus the supervisor of your life. Let him take the wheel of your life and drive you to your next destination. Amen. Amen. Will you pray with me right here? Will you pray with me? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, at this time, we're letting go of all thoughts and concerns. We realize that when we let go, we're able to receive. We realize that when our hands are a tight fist, we can't open our hands to receive anything from you. We realize that when we hang on to tight control, we have closed off our heart and our spirit, which doesn't allow us to receive your blessings that you have for us. Right now, Lord God, we're releasing so that we can receive your blessings. Lord God, we're letting go and trusting in the still small voice inside of us. Help us not to struggle, but to surrender our struggle to you. Lord God, take the steering wheel of our life. We have let go so that you can lead us and guide us to our next destination. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. And amen. Beloved, the best use of life is love. The best expression of love is time. And the best time to love is now. So today, reach out to someone you love and tell them you love them. Because telling them later just might be too late. Have a blessed day, everyone. Oh